Excellent. We are here looking at, well, it's a top W engine, but I'm standing here with the owner and I'm gonna let this gentleman tell you all about it. John Deere made the Top W, which is essentially a Model D tractor engine built in a stationary form. It was for uh, built from the early 30s to the early 50s. About 4,000 units were produced total. It was for driving irrigation pumps, uh, sawmills, things like that that needed a, uh, a power unit where they didn't yet have electricity. Yes, so, absolutely. Uh, it's basically a, a tractor engine in a stationary form. You just set it up, hook it with a belt or whatever, or, or line shaft or whatever you're going to power. Sure. Uh, leave it be. There Much it like they did with the wood, exactly. wood yeah. cutter over there. Absolutely. That is an impressive looking unit. And you can tell it's certainly set up to be stationary without a tractor. <laughs> we need to reach out to the young folks somehow. Yes, sir, and, and I think we're to a point now where they're starting to hear shortages. And they're looking yep. at the cost of upkeep on this newer equipment yep. with all this electronics. And then you look at stuff that's been around since 1946 and it still runs, sure. can still do the work today. It's mechanical. So yeah. they don't have to worry to about anything. Yeah. You know, it's just going to live. You don't need any electronic chips or anything. Right, exactly. <laughs> you're, you're not at the hand of Taiwan or anybody right. else. So, you know, just good old fashioned, hard American steel right. doing the work. I agree. So, but yeah, essentially this engine would have been what eventually you would have seen like the Detroit engine replace yeah, much. About the time this ended in the early 50s, uh, 52, diesels were becoming much more common and so right. they were replacing the gasoline or all fuel engines at that time. Yes. So, yeah, yeah, you can, uh, it, it's interesting whenever you start to, that, that period where they converted where John Deere went to the R and went yeah. over to diesel. Yeah. And you seen the whole industry kind of shifted that from where they had been on, you know, propane and on gasoline for so long. But diesel was the natural conclusion. Yeah, a lot more torque, you know, just a better, better power. <laughs> Really, if you ask me, it's going to wind up being the still going to be the long term solution because you can make biodiesel, yeah, I've heard it, that. you know. And yeah. I believe Jim here does make oh, really? some of that from yeah. you know that oh, but, that uh the cyst that they got back there, you know, they process all of that uh -huh. and then that gets rendered. And I think they sell that overseas somewhere, really? so but but yeah. All them green people want to talk about green, but... <laughs> and your name again? Uh, my name's Michael. Michael? Yes, Pleased sir. to meet you. I'm David. Good to meet you, sir. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to walk around and sure. get a good little bit of video on this. I sure appreciate you interviewing me. Uh, well. What a cool piece of equipment. front it just looks like you're looking at a tractor in many ways that's very cool hey everybody thanks for watching please subscribe and hit the like button and don't forget to share and hit that notification bell